Welcome to Warwick Art Center. We are here at Develop 3D Live 2025, and we are here to present our vision for the future for both SOLIDWORKS as well as DASO systems. We presented our Gen 7 vision, including all the seven pillars to the audience here, and it was received in a very nice way. We also positioned SOLIDWORKS as a business solution. We are no longer just a design solution. Our users are going from delivering design in order to deliver products to delivering experiences. And in order to do that, we have to expand what we, from SOLIDWORKS brand, we deliver. And we are delivering a holistic product portfolio for them. And we presented that as well to our users out there. And we also showed them all the cool AI-driven technologies, generative experiences, virtual companions. And I think we can see a lot of excitement in there. Big theme today is uh, things like AI, generative design, uh, and co-pilots. And one of the things we saw today that I'm quite excited for uh, in July, hopefully, Aura comes into SolidWorks, a uh, uh, support co-pilot. And I can see a lot of our customers, particularly of the younger generation, who are more used and interested in, you know, used to chatbots and systems like that, leaning on that technology to just basically assist them with the tasks that you have to do as an engineer. Like every year, we see a lot of clients using SOLIDWORKS on the stage of Develop 3D Live. We are also going to see a golf simulator created by Hopper Quinn, and they are going to show how they use the platform in a very collaborative way. Tell us about Hopper Quinn. What do you guys do? Okay, so um, we're an engineering consultancy um, that provides support into Formula One um, and we also uh, work with entrepreneurs to go from their napkin level ideas all the way up to certification production. So we're doing all the prototyping, all the engineering in-house. So today, would you be speaking about anything specific that you are working on? Yeah, so we'll be talking about our uh, sort of flagship project, if you like, which is the golf simulator that we've um, developed with Off The Deck. So um, these are some guys that came to us in the beginning of uh, 2023 and um, we developed a mechatronics system um, and the electronics, the software uh, and went from them approaching us to having a prototype running on the back of a yacht in nine months. So we'll be talking about that project today. So by the nature it looks like you go from all the way from napkin sketch to being on a yacht which means people are dis distributed all over the world, all over the different places I would say. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And um, that's really where our relationship with SOLIDWORKS has been key. Um, we've used tools um, at, the, at the early stages like Visualize so we can bounce conceptual ideas around. And, uh, and then obviously we've used SOLIDWORKS uh, design functionality. We've used the FE, the Flow Sim, um, and we're doing um, yeah, all, all of that to, to, to develop the ideas, to build prototypes. Um, we're using routing for the electrical. So we're using a lot of the tools. Um, and also we use sort of the business process management side. So we've got the PLM from 3D Experience um, and we're looking to do more and more um, with SOLIDWORKS to help develop our ways of working. We launched the new era for SOLIDWORKS today. I am excited. Our crowd is excited, our users are excited. I think we are going to make it. <laughs>